it really baffles me how citizens will be suffering and then those in authority are doing nothing about it it baffles me how a man that used to use 10,000 naira to fuel his car for two weeks can no longer even be able to spend 20,000 naira to fuel his car or fill his tank and be able to use that for two weeks. It baffles me how bread that we used to buy at the rate of 300 naira is now almost 2,000 naira. It baffles me how sardine that used to be around 250 is now over 1,000 naira. It baffles me how a bottle of Coke that we used to buy, Fanta and the rest of it that we used to buy, around 150 naira in less than, or let me just say a year ago, as we speak now, if you don't have 600 naira, you can no longer buy it. And the government have the mind to propose a minimum wage that is less than a hundred thousand naira for citizens. I feel it is disheartening. I feel it is insensitive. It is insensitive because those in authority, those in political positions are not feeling the pains that Nigerians are feeling, are not suffering the way Nigerians are suffering right now. Why? Because the taxpayers' money are used to fund their lives. The taxpayer money are used to take care of them. A house of assembly member has a minimum of over 200,000 naira for newspaper allowance. A house of assembly member has furniture allowance, domestic staff allowance, and so many allowances that the annual salary of most civil servants will not even be up to that newspaper allowance will not even be up to that furniture allowance that they get a month it is very sensitive in a country like nigeria that is blessed with so much natural resources and that the citizens are suffering many nigerians can no longer feed twice a day it is bad many organizations can no longer function well because of the price of diesel and there's no 24 hours electricity many companies have shut down SMEs have shut down because of the economy a man that used to be 1 million era rich as at last year as at today it's no longer a millionaire because of the height of inflation. Nigerians are almost looking like refugees even in their own country. It is sad. I feel if the cost of governance can be reduced drastically political offices will become unattractive and then those with, 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 that, with that zeal to lead those with that, with that, with that, with that, that zeal to lead will become leaders of Nigeria and I believe Nigeria will move forward if House of Assembly 
members can begin to receive the same minimum wage that civil servants are receiving. After all, they are civil servants. I am sure those offices will become vacant. I am sure we will have less people going into those political offices. And I believe Nigeria will get better. I also want us to use this opportunity as Nigerians to pray for staff of Heritage Bank. We don't know what's going to happen to many of them. Many of them might lose their job. Even if somebody, another person or another bank takes over Heritage Bank, there is a possibility that there's going to be retrenchments. Many might lose their job in this economy where people that have jobs can no longer even feed. People are losing jobs. Let's pray for them. We pray that staff of Heritage Bank, God will take care of them. God will vindicate them. God will help them and God will sustain them. In Jesus' name. God bless Nigeria. Let's never give up on praying for Nigeria. This is our country. The Bible says we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. So we need to also pray for the growth of Jerusalem. And this is our Jerusalem. Nigeria is our Jerusalem. Let's continue to pray for the peace of Nigeria, for the growth of Nigeria, and for good governance in Nigeria. And I believe one day we'll get there. God bless you. Have a nice day.